everybody, folks, man. This they got no one really, and I'm back with another one. This time we're gonna be taking a look at Loom by Air Instruments, man. It's a modular additive synth, um, and it's really dope. Um, you know, I actually had it in my catalog of VSTs for a while, and just never really like dug into it. Like I've opened it, tried it out a couple times, but I never really like dug into it. Um, you know, and man, I'm just kind of disappointed because this VST is beyond dope. All right, it's crazy. Um, like just the different things you can do, different type of sounds, pads, leads, basses, like all of it. And I tried to put some together, you know, to show y'all what it can do. Um, you know, and it's if you've ever tried it before and you felt like I did, like what is this? And if you follow along, I can show you exactly how you can put together something that hope is good, man. I hope y'all vibe out with me. I like the track um, and everything like that. So let's get into a couple of sounds that I use to produce the track you're in the background. All right. Alright, so this is what you first see when you first open up Loom. Now, if you like me, you go around and you're like, okay, so you know, how do I change some of the parameters? And you start turning knobs and you know, you don't ultimately get the effect that you're looking for. Um, at least I know I did it. So, you know, and I was just in the midst of a sound exploration because I just had got the M Audio Control 49 and it came packaged. So I was just trying to go through the sounds and you know, see what spoke to me and you know, what I'll probably be using soon. So, you know, I clicked over a couple of presets and just tried them out. And, you know, really wasn't apparent to me like the power. But of course on this challenge, um, the goal was to use one VST and, you know, see what you could do. See uh see how far you can get and, you know, how inspired would I be and all and all of those types of things. So um after looking around, I stumbled across edit. And, you know, I was like, let me let's see, let's see what edit means. And the sound, you know, was kind of there. It didn't sound much like this, but I went through and I started like trying to investigate like uh, what does any of this do? And so um, one thing I can show you right now is if you come right here, um, some just stood out. It was like phrase and I was like, what does that even mean? Like how do you control it? And I just I started like just picking different things and I it was really straightforward so I was able to like as you can see right there like if it started out out here and it had like all this ringing I was like that's pretty cool but yeah I need to tame that somehow and then I can even control how much of it in here so you know and I I really like you know movement you heard me say that a dozen times and um, you know, this was really creating that vibe. And what's cool is like you come right in here and you know, change the whole vibe. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, you know, say you're not feeling it or you wanna try something different, you could do, you could do just that. And so even here, I just mess around and change, you know, just how just how the sound rings out. And so you know, that's really cool because you have eight different possibilities, eight different types of combinations, and you can even have sounds on sounds on sounds. Um, so if I was to go right here and I add another phrase right on top, well, you know. Just crazy combinations, right? <laughs> Sounds insane. So anyway, you know, that's a brief look at some of the possibilities that you have. I went and jacked that all the way up, but, <laughs> you know, as you can see, and you can just go through and try different, different type of modules that they have um, and see what happens, you know, and that, and that, I think, is the real power, like, just that experience. The ability to explore and to try different things like even if even if it feels or looks daunting like you really can't mess up um i don't think um so you know let's move it to the next sample all 
All right, so the next sound up is called Basic Majesty. And this preset was pretty dope, um, you know, to begin with. But I wanted to try to, like, alter the emotion that I, that I was feeling from the track. So, you know, again, you know, I've kind of looked over and I said, okay, I like this. And I, I discovered what the tune did and I discovered what Odd Even does. So you see how the low end kind of disappeared when I took that fundamental out. So we're bringing it back. And so like, you know, it's, it's really easy to really come in. And so ultimately I added in a low pass filter into this sound. And then I went down and I sent it to LFO2 because the, uh, the filter was already being affected by ADSR1. So it's kind of got like this breathing, but I wanted to change how it affected, how it was affected. And so, or envelope two, I'm sorry. And so basically the filter is coming in, it's coming on that slow fade and then it releases off. And so right here, I could change the rate. And so, you know, little simple moves like that can alter just the emotion that you have. And so, you know, I was able to create something that I thought sounded pretty unique and different and cool. And, um, you know, again, like, that's so much power because by me being able to fade that filter in, it doesn't just start at the beginning. It kind of breathes right into it. And so yeah, I'm sorry, um, but yeah, so you know, I really dig how this sound feels and and what it does. And so um, you know, with that, I mean, I just try to give you a brief look into some of the possibilities, some of the power, some of the capabilities that you have um, with this sound and sound design, sound selection. Um, so you know, I hope you enjoyed the brief look, and let's move on to the next one. So next up is the bass. Uh, this preset was called the Thumper bass, bass. And basically, you know, I was just looking for a good bottom end, you know, trying to find something that fit into the track well, sit well, and this preset was pretty much uh, right in pocket with what I felt, you know, matched the track. And, you know, Loom has a wide selection of like, you know, very different sounding basses. Uh, they, they have a few. So, you know, just picking a few. Just, you know, showing you some options. And, you know, I ended up settling on the Thumper bass. Uh, definitely felt a lot better uh, for what we were going for with this one. And, you know, that's it. Uh, you know, if you ever check this out, you know, I feel like it's got anything that can fit into practically any style of music. Um, plus, again, with all those modules that you could, you know, spend hours and hours and days exploring, um, you can certainly create a, um, a base all your own, um, given this. Again, it's additive synthesis, so if you're super familiar with that, then you'll know the type of, you know, bases that you can make. But they definitely give you a, a good range of uh, bases to start from and then to, you know, tweak your sound on top of. So, you know, let's get into the next sound. All right. So next sound it was time to take a look at was movie times. And um, this one, as soon as I started playing around with it, I started feeling like this cinematic vibe 
like very contemplative, very, very thought provoking. And so seeing as how this track, for the most part, I feel like feels very emotive, very like, you know, laid back, um, really vibey. I feel like this kind of created like that. It filled in the, into that space, fed into that idea. Um, and so, you know, this preset was pretty much straightforward. I don't think I did any change into it at all. It just fit right on in. And that's the thing about Loom. Like, you know, some sounds seem really out there and you can kind of tame them. And once you go into the edit page, you can, you know, add different modules. You can uh, affect just even down to like where certain parts of the sound comes in. So, you know, you might not want a lot of emotion at the top of the sound, but you might want some emotion at the end or the tail of the sound and that's that right there you know um it's something that i really have never seen i'm pretty sure like but you know we'll get into that and um you know this particular vst um is really dope and i definitely plan on using it in my future productions so you know with that being said uh let's get into my overall thoughts and you know Yo, rather not you should use this for yourself. Um, so, anyway, let's get into it. Alright, so there's been a brief look at Loom. And, you know, a couple of the sounds that I use in the track. Um, again, the name of this track is Loom Success. If you want to check out the full track and hear, you know, how I use a lot of the sounds and, you know, hear them in context, because maybe, you know, uh, you want to hear, like, exactly to full extent. Again, uh, with these, as far as, like, the preset sounds, things like that, I use only one VST, only one. That's the challenge. That's the goal. Um, so the basses, leads, pads, you name it, even the sound effects, all come from Loom. And, um, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that, you know, by hearing this, checking out the music, you know, and inspire you to go craft some greatness, you know, do your own thing. Um, and check out Loom. Um, if you don't already have it in your uh, catalog of instruments, because, you know, I kind of look at these as like paintbrushes. You know, you have different type of tools for the job. And so if this sounds like something, that you can use and you want to try out and you like the workflow, you like the modular, the additive synthesis thing, then please give Loom a, a, a try. Um, matter of fact, they also have Loom 2 that's out and it's supposed to be like a big upgrade. Um, I'm probably going to be checking, out, checking that out real soon. Um, so, you know, it's been no one really. And, uh, you know, I hope that you enjoyed it. See y'all around. Stay tuned for the next one.